Hi, uh, in this tutorial I'm going to talk about uh, gradient descent uh, and its proof, uh, where do we get all this equation. So basically gradient descent is an iterative approach for finding the local minimum or maximum of a function. So basically you start with uh, at a point and then uh, your next point is going to be derivative of a function of that point uh, minus that. So if you want to find the uh, local minima, you have to subtract it. If you want to find the maxima, you have to uh, add it. And usually there's a term here, uh, gamma or r multiply you, which I'll tell you in a minute uh, what are these and how it actually find the local minima or maxima. So let's say uh, you have a function which has a shape like this and uh, you are in this point. You can uh, traverse in different direction, you can go up, left, left, right. We're looking for the uh, direction that uh, gives us uh, or guide us to the uh, minimum point, which is here. So uh, which direction shall we go? How can we uh, find this uh, direction? Uh, let's have a look at the uh, uh, directional derivative. Directional derivative means we, when you have a, a multidimensional uh, function, you can compute a gradient in the uh, di uh, different direction. So you have a vector that we compute the uh, direction on that, dir uh, on that uh, direction, and we have a point. So uh, directional vector, sorry, directional derivative, which I uh, denoted by this notation, uh, is equal to uh, create a grain in the function multiple by dot product by uh, that vector which uh, based on the definition of a derivative is a uh, limit of our function and that point plus uh, h multiple by this vector minus uh, value of the function on that point so let's have a look uh, why this equal to this we have to revisit a chain rule for uh, multivariable functions. Let's say we have a function f is consists of uh, x and y, and x and y, each one of them is a function of t. So derivative of f relative to t is relative of f to x multiplied by derivative of x by t. And same goes uh, for the uh, y. Sorry, here should be uh, y. So uh, here, uh, our uh, xt function and yt function are actually um, x plus h times uh, v1 and uh, h plus uh, v2 and so on for every uh, uh, dimension until n that we have. So if you use the uh, chain rule, uh, you can see the derivative of f relative to x1 and derivative of x1 relative to uh, 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 h which is uh, 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 give us v1 and so on for v2 v3 until vn so as you can see we can uh, simply write this as a derivative of the function on um, point x vx uh, dot product by vector v so uh, this is the equation that we had here, directional uh, derivative. So directional derivative of a function on a point x, big capital X, at the direction uh, v is actually uh, derivative of a function on that point multiplied by uh, dot product by v. Uh, we know that uh, dot product is maximized when uh, uh, the angle between two vectors is zero and minimize when it's minus theta. So uh, if you want to get this uh, uh, minimize, the uh, base value is minus p. So we have to uh, uh, go uh, this direction. The, the direction that we have to go to minimize our function should be exactly uh, opposite of uh, derivative of a function on that point. It's dependent if we want to maximize or minimize. If we want to maximize, we have to go in the opposite direction. If we want to minimize, we have to go in this direction. 
so as you can see uh, our new point is a previous point multiplied by uh, uh, derivative of the function on that point which is uh, we get it from here minus p uh, you just give us the minus one cause this equation to be uh, minus one which is the smallest value for that and uh, we multiply by some multiplier r or gamma or lambda uh, because we uh, want to increase or decrease the step sometimes we might overshoot from here or we ended up here sometimes we want to go slower or faster so uh, this is only uh, step size and uh, the main uh, idea is actually coming from directional derivative and chain rule which uh, by setting zero or minus pi we get the maximum maximization or minimization thank you